chat. Next case, we have a little lesion. Doesn't look like much. It's on the cheek. Start out. Little nothing, little ditzel as we say, but it looks like a basal cell. It's suspicious for the most common form of skin cancer. The good news is we get to this early, do a biopsy, we can prevent it from turning into an advanced case of skin cancer. So come on, let's take a look. I think he's set up, he's ready for the biopsy. Okay, my man. Okay, I'm ready. I want you to get right in here, Chuck, and take a look at this little spot here. It doesn't look like much to the untrained eye. Okay. You see a lot of redness. We know he's had a lot of sun, some brown, some blotchy skin. We've uh, diagnosed some precancers before on him. And here we have this area, and this is the area in question. It's a pearly, shiny little bump right here. You can see it's kind of white and somewhat shiny when I stretch the skin. Now, if you can catch that, can you get, are you guys getting this? Right in through here. And again, it doesn't look like much. You think of skin cancer as being a big, black, nasty looking thing, or a big, ulcerated, scabby looking thing that doesn't heal. Here we just have a little change in the skin surface, a little bit shiny, but by looking at it, we can tell it is a basal cell in all probability and we need to biopsy. If we can biopsy it, we'll test it. Indeed, if it's a skin cancer, basal cell skin cancer that a lot of people get on sun exposed areas, we can effect a great cure with this. And that's the good news. Catch it early, cure it right away, end of story. So let's go ahead and do that biopsy. You know what this uh, involves. Right. It's that quick little pinch. In fact, Jerry did my shoulder here a few months back. Right. The right shoulder. The basal cell, was that also a basal cell? Yeah, what do that we was have? Yeah. Too, yeah. And point. when you have one basal cell, two basal cells, etc., you can develop more. You will develop more. This is a perpetual phenomena. Oh, I see. And it's important that we I stay see. vigilant. Catch it in the butt. Nip it in the bud, for sure. You've got it. That's exactly what you want to do. So what I'll do is I'm going to mark the area. Because it's so difficult to see, Chad, we have to mark this area. Uh, Nicole, if you would just lower that table down, please, for me. And we'll get him in good position. Perfect. Thank you. And a little alcohol wipe here. Yep, yep. Blue marks the spot. When I put the Novocaine in and the epinephrine that goes with it, it's going to blanch that area out. So this is a way that I can mark and make a landmark so we don't miss this area. Very important. Quick little pinch hold still. Here's the pinch. Little burn. Doing okay? Good. Good. Do you feel anything sharp here or just pressure? That's sharp. Sharp here? Mm, almost. A little bit. Not pressure yet. See. How about this? I don't feel nothing. Good answer. We got the answer we wanted. Don't feel anything. <laughs> Hold still for me. Quick little shave biopsy now. Look how simple this is, Chad. We're just taking a little portion of it. Doesn't require much. This is sent off to the lab. It's analyzed. We should have results in a couple weeks. If it is what we think it is, we can remove it surgically. We can scrape it out. We can cut it out and put stitches in. We'll discuss that once the biopsy results come in. Now it can bleed just a little bit after the procedure. So we want to seal those broken blood vessels up. End of story. Look how simple that was. It takes just seconds to ascertain whether this is going to be a skin cancer or not. It didn't look like much. If the patient wasn't smart enough to come in on a regular basis, he may not have caught it early, I may have not have caught it early. So by just say, taking a look at this area, getting to it right away, we can make a big difference in people's lives. Catching skin cancer, catching it early, what a difference. Basal cell carcinoma, we knock these things out like a home run.